Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today, I thought we would set up the weekly in my Sterling Ink N1 Horizontal Weekly Planner. I'm just going to cross off Saturday and Sunday because they're gone on there. And then I also would like to update that but I'll do that later so this is the week we're on the 14th through to the 20th I have wrote a list of things that I would like to include um, in somewhere on this planner so I'm just going to put that off to one side and I no longer need that paper clip now all I need to decide to do is what kit I want to use I've got a few options so I've got this one from Graceful Muse Papery which is a Rory it's called Rory from the Gilmore Girls uh, kit and I do like it because it's very autumnal Willow my daughter is absolutely obsessed with Gilmore Girl Girls can you believe I've never watched it never watched it once it's always been in the background and I've always like tried to not like listen to what's going on in case one day I do want to watch it I'm thinking about this one, but this has got lots of washi and things which won't be used on this. I could either use it for the weekly spread and the dailies, or I'm trying something new uh, and I want to, in my planner, I can't decide which one to do it in, but I'm thinking maybe we'll do it in the sterling ink. I want to like uh, section off the daily pages into two vertical com columns Ooh, throwing stuff everywhere into vertical columns so it's the same as a take a note so I'm thinking I might need quite a bit of washi and stuff to do the daily pages with there so I'm not sure that's an option and then we have Falling Leaves. The only thing with this one is it's very, very similar to the colour I've just done. And I did want something a bit different. What else have we got? So we've got Falling Leaves, we've got that. And in there, no. And then I've put a, a couple more, like, autumnal ones in here. So we've got two here. We have got... Autumn Sky. Now, I do love the Harriet Wright Designs ones, but they don't come with washi. You can buy washi for some of them. See, that's a completely different colour. They're like blues. But it has got like an autumnal vibe. It's got pumpkins. And then I can use those on the daily pages. So this is on her standard matte paper. And then this is on her clear paper. And you can feel the difference in the thickness. Like you can see the difference in the thickness as well. Like massively. This one is a lot thicker than that one. So if you don't want like a lot of bulk in your planners. Then I recommend you get the, the clear ones. This one leaves a fall in. Again it's very similar colour because I think that that they are the colours aren't they they are the colours for I thought I've got two the same then but one's leaves are falling and one's falling leaves oh which one should I use because whichever one I can use can go across to the daily pages as well oh how pretty is that does that fit across there oh oh I think we got a winner I think we've got a winner I'm going to use autumn sky I'm going to use autumn sky and then I'll put these away quickly okay so that's them away and then I'm going to save these for the daily pages in my in my selling ink so we have got to set up this week it won't use that many stickers I don't think and then we'll do some of the daily pages as well so I'll just show you the kit so we've got these gorgeous boxes here and I'm just going to spread stuff around me because that's what I like to do I like to have a full visual of what I've got so these are florals so I put the floor I separate the florals and the 
um, decor because I like to see, look at that. These are just bloody stunning. It's this page that did it. Oh my God, look at that little owl. I'm obsessed with owls and I love this page as well. Love that page. Right, so this is what got me. So this fits perfectly up there. So how are you guys? I got some good news earlier. Uh, we bought a new sofa and it, and it wasn't due to come for another two weeks, but it's actually going to get here on Sunday. And I'm so excited that we get to have a couple of weeks with it before we go away. And the other bonus as well is we've kind of like sectioned off the living room. <clears throat> so the dogs aren't going to be able to get on the new sofa. I know some people will think that's cruel, but Nico... Our little Yorkie, he wheezes on absolutely everything. I really like that. Do I layer like a stamp on it or something? I need to be careful because I have got like all of these things that I want to put on here. So first off, do I... I'm just thinking this. I just want to check if this colour goes. It goes quite nicely with the darker bits i'm going to use this i'm going to do the left hand side so i'll use the dots right let's bring you out a bit let's try and up my filming game shall we oh that's nice nice little it's really it's a light color so it won't be as harsh and I'm gonna do another line there. So one tie one side is gonna be like reoccurring tasks and the other side isn't. Right, let's use this. So I'm gonna cover Do I need to wipe them out? I think I need to... In fact... No, I don't. I'm just going to go straight in with these. Yeah, the Monday is going to show. So let's wipe these out. I've got... Not a massively busy week this week, but... We had a massive house clean yesterday. Chris was amazing, he did the majority of it. I did what I could with my back, but right, do I put the date and then the, or do I put the, yeah, let's put the date first. Yeah, Chris did amazing, absolutely amazing. And it has done absolutely wonders for my mental health, getting up this morning, coming downstairs, everywhere's clean and tidy. So, all I had to do was, like, change some washing over, sort out the breakfast stuff. And then Chris had gone to collect the food shop. So he went and got the food shop. And then we put that away. And then he's just gone into work. And now I'm filming this, which you'll see. I'm also filming this week a uh, week in my planners. So I'm filming that behind the scenes. So next week... On either the Sunday or the Monday, I'm going to upload a week in my planners video for you. Because I haven't done one of those in ages. And plus, I want to get back into using my planners more. And I thought, what better way than to use my planners? If I'm filming it, then I've got no excuse, have I? So we've got that. And then I do want either, let's have a look, I'm getting stickers out and everything guys, I'm going all out. We've got this week, lots of this week's, next week, I'm looking for a to-do, oh yeah, big sheet of to-dos. 
gonna use these. I'm thinking I could calligraphy it, but I'm not sure I want to. I'm just gonna get rid of the October and then do I want to put anything decorative up here? Oh, I bought one of those like Glade um, smelly things, you know, that spurts out every like whatever time you put it on. And I put it on 18, it's just squirted me in the face. But I like it because I love the smell. Right, so do I want to put anything up here? I feel like I should. I feel like I should put something up there. Just to, I could use one of these little corners. It's like a down there corner though, isn't it? And that that's going to be way too big. Oh, I've got this one. That's pretty. Will it fit? Yeah, that'll fit. There we go. And then I can layer one of these. Do I want to do that or do I want to? I might calligraphy. I might do some calligraphy. I call it calligraphy, guys. I use that term very, very loosely. I am practicing calligraphy. I've got like books and stuff. But um, yeah, I use that term very, very loosely. So I reckon I can fit it in there. So I'm going to get this out again. I do like, put a line there. I do one above. And then I can write tasks in here. I'm scared, I'm scared to write it. Right, I'm not going to write it. I'm going to leave it for now. But what I do know is for my tasks. So in this column here, if um, I'll use a key, so if it's a circle, it's a task. If it's a square, what's a square? It's an errand or like anything out the house. And then a forward arrow is YouTube. I use those and then when I've done, done it, I'll colour it in. So that's that side done apart from I might have to use I might have to use the bottom bit. It depends on my tasks as well, because I know it's going to be a busy week. But I definitely want to put something up here. Do I use a pumpkin? I feel like I should be using pumpkins because, you know, it's October. But I also feel like a stamp coming off there is really nice. And then... Oh, look at that, it nearly perfectly fits at the bottom. I'm thinking, when am I going to get the chance to use that again like that? I hope I'm leaving myself enough space. Let's just have a quick look. One in from either side. One in from either side and it's a perfect fit. I wonder if this is like a perfect pit. Pit fit for like a pocket or something. Oh my God, how stunning does that look? That's so stunning. Right. What can I do up here? I need to do my reoccurring tasks and events, which are going to go in there. My task list, which is going to go here. I need a waiting on list, which I'm not sure how much is on my waiting on list. Let me check. Let me check here. So, uh, cute six nine covers. I've got coffee monster co. I've got sterling ink, and I've got Harriet Wright designs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do waiting on. Again, I'm gonna. I wonder if I can put a 
a little something up there. I wonder if another stamp or this. I like this. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to do... I'm not sure how much space I'm going to try now and right waiting on in here oh, I did it actually Right tasks. The concentration, guys. Concentration is real. So let's block this off with this. Gonna be wet I know it is so that's where I'm gonna write my waiting on stuff one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'll put the top there right next up we need trackers so thinking do I put deco this side or that side trackers and routine that's going to take me down to there which is going to leave this empty I don't mind some white space then I could put a line there I don't know if my three trackers will fit along there I think they might so let's let's leave a space let's go let's start the numbers let's come down another one so I can write what the trackers are for so I'll do 12 10 8 this is going to be my sleep tracker um monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and then i'm going to do my mood tracker which if i just like do two two spots and then just write Small, happy, meh, sad, depressed, and manic. And then angry. Pretty sure these aren't in very good order. Right, and then I need to do my energy. So will that fit Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Oh no, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, so I can put a bit of decoration there. That's annoyed me. What shall we put? Here, I feel like it's, a, it's very floral heavy and it needs to be something long and thin. Let's cut around. Where's my scissors? It's got a
a white border which I can cut make the stickers work for you guys make the stickers work for you are you gonna fit now little one look at that perfect fit definitely need to put some thin dark down this side to balance that i think i'm going to go with this pumpkin basket down there to balance oh my god i've smudged that now as well what's going on see let's go back to the original idea of a to-do and then I'll put a this week up here because this is where I'm going to put the reoccurring tasks so there's two of so my reoccurring tasks are on, my task list is done, my waiting on's done, I've done sleep, mood, I need to do energy, so energy is just going to be, leaving space to write energy, high, medium and low, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, energy, and then I want routine and meal plan. Don't think I'm going to fit my routine on if I put the meal plan on, because the routine really needs to go there, because it's, it's more things. Can I track the routine? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, can I track the routine somewhere else? And can I put the meal plan down here and hope that I've got enough room for my tasks? I think so. Right, I'm going to write my task list, what I know it to be now, and then I'll come back and we'll figure out what to do next. Okay, so I filled in my to-dos and waiting ons. This week is a no-buy week, so there will be no purchasing of anything this week I'm also I think I'm gonna go sideways here or do I want to write it above I might write it above so this one is sleep this one is mood and this one is energy not very good at some of the letters I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not actually shocking at some of the letters right let's do these lines we try not to smudge anything back here which you've already done oh 
will look depressed has gone into Monday. There we go. Get rid of that. I know what it is. And then... See where we're at. Let's do this one. Right, so there we've got our sleep, our mood, and our energy. And so we need routine and meal plan. So my routine can definitely go here. So let's just hmm. <laughs> let's let's remember how you do a routine, Becky. So you want the Alistair method. So we're gonna go just gonna write it in here. routine and then we'll go underneath it I'll start about a skin let's ah, I don't know what I'm doing Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Oh my god, I can't pick anything up with these nails. And and so we'll do skincare teeth make bed. Rest and I want to make sure I'm journaling this week. Journaling there. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then down here, I start from say here. And do go backwards, and then I can use. I'll just write meals above. Meals. And that is the week set up. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's just a bit disjointed. I could have moved that routine up to be in line there if I'm picking it apart. But I hardly used any stickers as well. I've got like a shit, a shit ton left. Right. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But I'm just waiting for that meals to dry. And then we'll do, we'll do some daily pages. It's where the fun sticky bit goes. So let's go to the back here. And let's have some fun. So I think I'll do four pages because there is four pages in between um, in the Faded Chronicle notebook, Weekly Planner. There's four pages in between each week. And I want to see 
if those four pages are going to be if I need more than that or whatever um, where's that big sticker I really like that really like this one I think it's right just like plonk it in the middle and go around it These do come off really, really nicely. Should we go that way? Like that. And then put that big one there. And then, right, let's get a pumpkin on here. I'll put it there. And then what else we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, so stunning. Oh, we've got this like city landscape. One, two, three. Then we've got this side, which is four. I'm going to put that there. Let's get a girl on here. Because we like a girl. And then let's get one of these up the top here. And something up there not that let's go city low city high and then do we have anything that will kind of like offset the pumpkin got another pumpkin we're away on holiday for um halloween this year and i'm so happy about it because it doesn't it means i don't have to buy a load of like Halloween-y sweets and stuff this page let's put those at the bottom should we put that up there so many gorgeous ones to choose from what about that about this sweater hanging on up here oh, I really like that so that's four pages done there and I will show you so these are two floral pages this one's still full and this one's only got one sticker off it and then for the deco We've got these I do move them across all onto like one sheet I've got these in case I need more and then I've got all of those I didn't use any of those can I use any of those on here mm. don't think they'll fit but what I do is I just keep these tucked in here and then as I'm going along in the week I can keep them on track so my daily pages are all ready to go I just need to write my reoccurring tasks on there and then I am good to go and I did my routine and I did my meal plan so I'll just move that across in case I want to use the same next week so that's it for this video guys i do hope you like it i hope that you um like the kit and everything 
it's just it's balancing the the blues and the peaches with the dark but i don't know i the more i look at it the more i like it so yeah i hope you like this video guys if you did give me a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye